We've a final new and exclusive visit of the week to the Market Kitchen now on UK TV Food with Paul Merritt preparing something for the weekend. Every day, a different dish. Quality standard beef and lamb. Proud sponsors of real quality food. Hello, welcome to Market Kitchen. I'm Tom Parker Bowles. And I'm Matt Tebbett. And although half term is coming to a close, we still got that Friday feeling. And to celebrate, we serve up two dishes using seasonal blood oranges, the best wines Australia and Mexico have to offer. And we meet the next generation of young food talent. Chef Paul Merritt trained under Gary Rose and went on to work at top London restaurants, the Ritz and the Farm, before bringing his Michelin style cooking to his latest venture, the Victoria Gastro Pub in Sheen. Now, Paul, what's, what's more difficult, working for Gary or setting up your own gastro pub? <laughs> oh, setting up your own gastro pub is a doddle after <laughs> But I have to say, he taught me everything I know about cooking and dancing. <laughs> just... And Thomasina Myers is known for her flair for Latino food after setting up the successful Mexican cantina Oaxaca. Last year, she toured sunny Spain, which is the inspiration for this week's dinner party menu. So what's your, what's your favourite flavour of Spain, Thomasina? I, I think it's got to be olive oil. I mean, olives, uh -huh. but it's, Spain's the biggest olive oil producing country. I love the flavour on salads, on bread, drinking it. Yeah. Delicious. All of all, Lovely, and we got all of this as well. Australia takes on Mexico for the next match in the Market Kitchen Wine World Cup. It's fish on a Friday down at the market as Chef Bryn Williams cooks lemon sole with baby fennel. And a big name from the Dublin restaurant scene, Chef Dylan McGrath, serves up John Dory, blood oranges and caramelised chicory. Now here's a chef who knows the merits of a simple, satisfying supper. Family man and top chef Paul Merritt has the perfect dish for this weekend, which takes minutes to make. Apparently. Minutes. Yeah, no, it does take minutes. Good and family dish, is, what is it? This is me as family man. Yeah. I, I'd like all this the good... Uh, dad any, any food writers watching, Yeah. Uh, I'd like them to know that. I don't, right. I would, it's not on in the restaurant. This okay. is real family food. All right. All right. What is it? Um, sorry, I'm going to do, uh, that, I'm gonna do sweet corn up. pancakes yeah. uh, with some grilled chicken and a little feta salad. Okay, mm. so sounds very Ideal nice. for a TV supper. Absolutely, absolutely. What's going in it? Right, okay, well, loads of ingredients, so yeah. I'm going to do the shorthand version. Um, we're going mm. to make a pancake from some flour and some eggs and a little bit of uh, baking powder and mm. some paprika. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to flavour some chicken. I've got the chicken there. Right. Uh, we're going to flavour the chicken with some lemon and some garlic and we're going to make a little salad from these leaves here okay and some feta cheese very nice on you get there you go. you right you go. now well first of all cooking uh, uh, arranging evening meals in my house is a bit like it's a bit like trying to negotiate a peace treaty you know one person won't eat this and one person won't eat that and and one person will eat that if the other person has to eat that you know veto them. oh it's awful <laughs> but this one is it's kind of one size fits all they all like this it really works. Now, the first thing I'm just gonna talk about is the chicken here. We've got some, um, I've got chicken breast, which I've slashed, poured over a little bit of olive oil, um, added some lemon zest and some garlic. Um, right, so we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the batter. In here, I've got some flour. Uh, I'm gonna add to that a little bit of wet, and the wet is eggs and milk. There we go. And this is baking powder which will give the, give the pancakes a slight rise. Now, I think of them as sort of something from the deep south. So I like to give them a bit of a spice. Uh, this is paprika, which will do just that. There we go, bit of that in there. Right, what else do we need? We need some, we need some fat in there. So I'm gonna use some melted butter. There we go, put that over there. And a little bit of salt. Now, just gonna mix all this up with a whisk. There we go. And then this is the basic batter. To this, you could add whatever you wanted. You might like to add mushrooms to it. You might like to, you might like to add nothing at all and just go for a very plain one with something on top. Me, I go for a bit of red pepper. There we are. Also go for a bit of red onion, which I'm now going to have to chop. And we just chop that very quickly through there. That'll be enough. Paul, as it's half term week this week, because you always want to be a chef when you're in school? Now, you know the answer to this question, don't you? I do know the answer. I just want you I actually, to tell me. Uh, 
that you wanted to be Paul Weller. I actually Which wanted to be Paul Weller. Which is the most ridiculous Weller. thing I've ever heard. I did, and I, it wasn't until much later on I realised there already was a Paul Weller. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, that, and that scuppered that plan. So I decided uh, to become a chef. Um, and it's, it's worked out all right. And to be honest, um, I said, this is really true. My wife bought me a ukulele for Christmas. Really? Uh, yeah, and I'm trying to play down in the tube station at midnight <laughs> on, on a ukulele. And it keeps uh, coming out when I'm but, cleaning windows. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, I am more George for me, but there we are. Right, OK, so that finally is a little bit of coriander there. We're going to give that a quick mix round, and we're going to bung it in the pan. So there we go. Now, this is quite a, quite a stiff batter. If it's, if it's not doing what you want it to do when it goes in the pan, you just add some more liquid to it. Right, you need a little bit of smoke coming off the oil. Sort of put your hand over the top. Don't touch the pan, but put your hand over the top. Just make sure it's nice and hot. And then dollop. This is why I don't do it in a restaurant, because it is a dollop. It's nothing more than a dollop. There we are. Get a little dollop in there. So two or three per person. I would say. Do you know what I've forgotten to put in there? I've forgotten to put sweet corn in. I? <laughs> I can't believe. That's because all that Paul Weller talk. We sorry, need some no, sweet sorry, corn. Yeah. We need some sweet corn. Right, the sweet corn in. Oh my word. <laughs> what a faux pas for the sweet corn industry that would have been. Oh, I've rescued it at the last minute. Marvellous. Right, so now I'm going to dollop again, but this time with added sweet corn. <laughs> there we are. Lovely. Oh. That's going to be the best one. <laughs> right, we'll put that over there. <laughs> right. Now, this one here is just beginning to set. You can just see, see the oil starting to fizz around a bit. So whilst that one's cooking, I'm just going to make a small salad. And again, nice and healthy. Some sort of mixture of leaves. You can use whatever leaves you like. There's absolutely no rules there. This time, I am going to add a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar. There we are. And finally, a little bit of feta cheese. Don't have to use feta, you could use absolutely any cheese you like. There we are, crumble that around. And just turn your pancakes over. You can see they've coloured up beautifully. And we'll make sure we do use the one with the sweet corn. There we are. Right, just going to put a little pile of salad on the plate. There you go. And on top of that, I'm going to sprinkle a few spring onions. Again, alliums, very, very healthy. Going to take our chicken out of the griddle pan where it's been cooking away. And we're going to cut that in two. There we go. Paul says here that you excelled at sociology and history in school. Yeah, that, that yeah. was my Paul Weller side coming that, out again. Has that been helpful? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I did. I loved those sort of subjects actually. I was very yeah. interested in, in what makes the world run. You know, politics and all that sort yeah. of thing. I, I was, and I think I still am. You know, relatively interested. It says in here you also rubbish at maths. Rubbish at Matt, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it says oh, rubbish. You, mu you, you at must Matt. have someone else's notes. Surely, <laughs> surely, surely I'm a businessman now. <laughs> right, and there you have it. That is sweet corn pancakes with grilled chicken and a feta salad. <laughs>to make Paul's sweet corn pancakes with lemon garlic chicken you will need flour baking powder paprika eggs milk and butter for the basic pancake mix buy a red pepper red onion coriander a lemon garlic spring onions and mixed leaves from your greengrocer buy some chicken breast from your butcher and stock up on tin sweet corn feta balsamic vinegar and olive oil right Matt, what do you reckon i think it's lovely good good proper home Food. It's family food. It's family food. It's packed full of all the things that families should eat or children Gosh, should eat. And it tastes nice. I think it's absolutely lovely. And it's got sweet corn in it. I was going to say, how are you finding the sweet corn <laughs> element? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sweet glad you like it. Sweet corn element is fine. It's lovely. Let's try it. And, and the salad is lovely as well. Absolutely beautiful. When do you eat salad? I love salad. Do you? Mm. delicious um, really simple uh, straightforward to make and I can't actually wait to get home and uh, make them for my two sons I think they'll love them these were so tasty and I really like the baking powder in them as well lifted them to a, a much more substantial level all the recipes are available at uktvfood.co.uk now join us after the break when Australia and Mexico go head-to-head -head in the wine world cup it's gonna be a corker don't miss it